Hey y'all, in this week's weekly chat, we're going to talk about whether or not you should buy a ninja. We're also going to cover, are we going to have any more Instant Pot recipes? And of course, this week's weekly menu. All while having a whole lot of fun. Did you hear about the guy who invented the, the, the throat lozenge? He died last week. They said there was no coffin at his funeral. <laughs> I love dad jokes. Hi, welcome back to week 25 of As Good As It Gets. I'm Chris. And I'm Mikey. And this is a weekly chat from our kitchen. We're sorry we missed y'all last week. It was a rough week. There was a lot of stuff going on. We weren't in the best of moods, and I don't think you want us doing a show where we're like, Hi! Welcome to our house! <laughs> <laughs> hey, anybody that's married understands that. Yes. There's a lot of stuff going on, and, and we just... No, we had so and... much going on, and then the taping kept getting delayed, and then all of a sudden, that meant we were going to have to tape on a Saturday, and then that meant we were going to spend all day Saturday editing on top of... Uh, trying to do the things we normally do on yeah. Saturday, and it just was not going to work. And Sunday was when we do our cooking shows, so we weren't going to have any time to not do anything. Yep. Yeah. So what we ended up doing is taking time during that time that we weren't doing all of that and sitting down and saying, okay, this is becoming way too much for us to be able to manage on top of like and, regular life. And the shows were long. Yeah. I mean, some of the shows were going to be like 40 and 45 minutes, I think was the longest one, something like that. So, yeah. so we didn't want to do away with the weekly chat and we didn't want to stop doing mm -hmm. a lot of the things that we know, even the things within the weekly chat that everybody loves. So we're like, okay, what if we don't make it all... Uh, chunked up into the weekly chat yeah. instead why don't we start breaking some of these pieces out and let them be their own thing so like if you like to see um the crock pot reviews or the slow cooker reviews we'll make those their individual videos instead of piling them into the weekly chat we'll kind of kind of toss those into the vlogs that we'll do on fridays yeah or yeah and then with the battles and helping determine what we're going to do on cooking chris's dishes um, we thought, well, let's just make that its own announcement so people can participate. You can pop in and find out what the chat, what the battle is and decide which one you want to see in and the upcoming week. It's also going to let us be a little bit more creative with it because it was getting to be where, you know, boom, we'd have to do graphics for the battles. Boom. We do graphics for reader emails. Boom. We do graphics for this. Yeah. Boom. We, I want to, and I'm the kind of guy who I want it to be creative with stuff. Yeah. And so I was working hours and hours and hours on you know, making things so artistic, I guess, that, you know, it was like there was getting to be too much. It really was. Yeah. So Wednesdays, we will show what the battle's going to be. We'll pop, we'll toss out a video every Wednesday and let you know what the, the next battle will be, which will give you all a week to comment on that certain video, kind of like what we did with this past video. If you wanted the Mississippi pot roast in the Instant Pot, you type moo. If you wanted the Mississippi chicken, Mississippi. Chicken, Mississippi chicken. For those of y'all who were there for Sunday's church gathering, um, if you want the Mississippi chicken, you type cock a doodle doo. We'll tally up the votes and then we will make the dish just for you. Yes, and so so we're just kind of breaking some of these pieces out. So the weekly chat is going to be a lot more condensed now. Fingers crossed where we'll give a short update um, and then dive right into a couple reader questions. And those reader questions will also be on the title slide so you guys can quickly see if the chat's going to be of something of interest for you. Mm -hmm. And then we'll dive right into the menu and that will be the chat for the week. But all the other pieces that you loved, we're just gonna try and sprinkle them in different places. So weekly discussions or things that we need to go in depth about, we'll just do a vlog about it. Or if we have um, a crock pot review, like I've got two crock pots that have arrived, or not crock pots, but two slow cookers that have arrived this week that are um, that are going, great for unboxings. So we're going to do two unboxings and you'll see those pop up occasionally. And so we're going to just try and do it that way to make things more manageable on our side and also make it easier for you guys to find what you're looking for. So with that... Let's dive right into reader emails. 
Well, we're going to let Mikey go first, and your question is from Karen. Now, first, Karen sent me a lovely note saying that she um, liked my red hat that I was wearing the other day, so thank you, Karen. But then she dived right in and said, I'm wanting to get the Ninja Crock-Pot, but my husband keeps saying, you, don't you already have a Crock-Pot? Well, I have two old Crock-Pots, a six-quart and a five-quart, I think, so what should I say to him so he can understand I need a new slow cooker one that browns. We just had a get together. I used both crocs and I could have used a third one. Any wisdom on this subject? Thanks. Well, I'm gonna first let off, the ninja expert answer this one. Yes. <laughs> first off, hello Karen, and thanks for the nice note. Yes. She does have good taste in hats. <laughs> and second off, um, well, I, I don't really want to talk to you about this. <laughs> I need you to go get your husband, Karen. Oh, Not sure what his oh name my. is, but uh, uh, Karen's husband. Uh, I'll wait. Go ahead. Bring him in. Is he here? Is he there? Okay, good. Sir, kind sir, <laughs> let's talk for a moment. There's, there's certain things that you shouldn't deny a woman, especially oh your wife. Oh, my goodness. Love, affection, and good appliances. <laughs> And the Ninja is a good appliance. Yes, I mean, I could have said the same thing when my wife bought her 4th, 5th, 7th, 19th, and 31st Crock-Pot and said, Honey, you've already got these Crock-Pots. Now, I, I know what you're going to say. I know, and I respect the argument that's coming right back at me through the screen. I know you're yelling at your laptop, computer, phone, whatever, saying, Dude, y'all run a business that deals with Crock-Pots, so you're making your money off of, off of these Crock-Pots. I got you. But again, I didn't deny my wife the opportunity I don't think you're to helping. use the crock. Pot. Oh my goodness! Now I'm not I don't think saying you gotta buy 30 of these crock pots for her. Okay, I got that. But if your birthday's coming up, if it's a it's a holiday, an anniversary, Christmas, Easter, some people buy presents for Easter. It's a good slow cooker to have because. It doesn't just do one thing. Let, let's get to the point here. And first of all, let's be very clear. In this house, the Ninja is not an appliance for me. He loves it way more than I do. I just know that I love the Ninja because it does more than one thing. If I want a crock pot that I want to, you know, brown some meat in and then immediately toss soup or whatever into it and slow cook it instead of dirtying up a dish that I bet she's making you do. It's less dishes for you to do, brother. <laughs> it's less dishes. If, if she's the one that does the dishes, it's less dishes for her to do so that you could spend more quality time together. But also, it's because it's an all-in-one. You can brown in it. You can bake in it. You can fry in it. You can slow cook in it. There, there, some of the good things that maybe bringing this back to a more serious note, maybe. maybe I'm not just being just serious. <laughs> is that... Um, you know, if you guys are in the market for it, you know, that's, of course, a family decision to make. We're not pressuring anybody. No, no, no pressure. But, um, but if you decide that that's the step that you want to take, some of the benefits are definitely it's a one-pot kind of thing. You can brown in the unit. It's one of those um, conveniences. Um, at least I know when, when I was growing up, my family traveled. My mom would bring stuff, a uh, crock pot or even like a little... A burner um, like a hot plate yeah so that she could cook our meals to help us save money on travel and so the ninja is kind of all that in one you can you could do pancakes in the morning and then crock pot your meal for the evening kind of thing and so it's got that kind of convenience um, and it's non-stick surface so it cleans up really easily and that kind of thing but again that's between you and your husband I was, um, I was talking to her husband just uh, then. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> but at the same time, um, but those are some of the things we like about it. Um, but it definitely, it's not something you have to have. But if it's something you're you um, want, um, it's definitely something we enjoy. I think it's a great investment. As far as of the slow cookers that we have, that's one of our older ones now. It's and, getting to be. And we still use it. We still love it. Yeah. It's starting to get some wear. That's the one thing about the nonstick. Don't ever use metal in it. Yeah. I know this from experience. It will wear over time, just like other appliances will. But for a slow cooker, if it lasts what two, even two years, to me is a, is a good investment. It, as long as if you're, but it's there, it's expensive. It's not one of the the more inexpensive crock pots. It's an expensive right. 
appliance that you want to take care now, of for sure. His, his idea of how long a slow cooker might last is a little skewed because we use ours so much. Well, yeah, we use ours daily. So. <laughs> I would expect a slow cooker to last much longer than two right. years. I don't think you're going to use yours every single day no, like we do. But, if you do, cool. But, <laughs> but um, it should last a lot longer than that. But yes, you definitely have to take into consideration it has that nonstick coating. So you're going to want to take extra care of that, which mm -hmm. is a little bit more maintenance than um, taking care of a ceramic pot. But the thing is, if you're going to invest in one, that one is very well made. Yes, so, we we real of that that category. That is one of our favorites. So kind sir, if you have not walked out of this conversation, yet, <laughs> give it a look. Oh goodness! Do it for Karen. Uh, you might and he might end up liking it more than you do, Karen, because the, I mean that's what happened in this house. Mikey's mm -hmm. all about it. That's his. That's like his. Yep. Like that's you don't it, touch it. It's his. So. <laughs> well, my turn for you. Yes. And my question to you comes from Jennifer. Mm -hmm. And Jennifer wants to talk about the Instant Pot. And she says, do you have any plans to feature the Instant Pot on your vlog? Okay. We have one episode of Cooking Chris's Dishes where we did use the Instant Pot. We also have... We have one coming up. That's the battle. Well, we also have, um, and I don't know which week it was. I should have I researched that. But one of the weeks um, of, of the weekly chat... We actually unboxed and featured the Instant Pot. Yeah, so, or not the Instant Pot. We featured a, a Farber Ware. It was the Farber Ware, okay. Yeah, yeah. And, so, and that's one of the reasons why we need to break up the chats is so everybody can find what they're looking yep. for. <laughs> so, um, but no. Um, so I assume she means just in general on the channel. And so the answer is yes. We will be adding a little bit. But honestly, um not everybody has an electric pressure cooker so one of the things we've committed to on recipes that crock is that we don't want to share an instant pot recipe that we haven't we don't have a crock pot recipe for as well so that if somebody sees it and says oh that looks delicious i want them to be able to make it in their crock pot if they don't have an instant pot because there are a lot of people who have um, instant pots and electric pressure cookers but there are a lot of people who that's not um, in their budget or that's not something they're interested in and our site is recipes that crock so mm -hmm. it's for slow cookers so we like to show other things too but um, but we need to make sure that we do that and then in addition to that I am very big on making sure we've tested and retested um, recipes and so doing all the slow cooker recipes that we've been doing mm -hmm. and then adding in a new kind of cooking on top of that is a lot to handle and a lot to do so you're not going to see tons and tons of instant pot stuff but we are adding a few and we'll put a link down below to um, help you find um, all the instant pot recipes that we have on the website we have a small grouping and then we also have a Pinterest board where um, blogger friends of mine and then of course our site um, are putting all of our instant pot recipes so that you can find more of those kinds of recipes, the kinds of recipes that you might enjoy. So hopefully that'll help. We definitely want to help people um, who want to learn, who want to use theirs and show them really great recipes. But again, we are really committed to making sure that um, that folks who um, who have crock pots but not instant pots can still make whatever it is we're making. Yep. So, all right. I think it is time for us to transition to the weekly menu. All righty. How are we going to do that? Well, let's high five into it. You ready? Turkey. All right, baby. What are we going to have? You are for pointing at yourself. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> Tell me what we're having for the food this week in the menu, baby. All righty. Right now, we've got on the snack for the week is the cream cheese taco dip that mm. Aunt Lou put on the blog a few weeks ago. It is going crazy. Readers are loving this. So we thought we'd put it on the menu. For totally cool with that. Right. Oh, the mailman's here. Um, <laughs> as for the breakfast, we have a homemade, uh, or not a homemade, a semi-homemade, so to speak, cinnamon roll that is um, very similar to the caramel pecan rolls that we put um, up 
on cooking Chris's dishes recently. So I thought, well, we'll put those on there too. I'm fine so with that. So there you go. Cinnamon rolls in a crock pot, good stuff. Yep. And then for Monday, which for some reason I thought was Tuesday, <laughs> I put taco lasagna because I was going with Taco Tuesday, but then I guess I put it in the wrong place. Sometimes you just can't wait till Tuesday for no. tacos. But it's lasagna, so or taco lasagna at least. So then on Tuesday, Thai pork with peanut sauce. Ooh. This is a reader submission um, so that submitted a recipe to us for to test, and I absolutely loved it. So you guys are gonna have to check that out. Mm -hmm. And by the way, if you ever have a recipe that's your own, not from another website, but that's your own that you'd like for us to test, just send it to Chris at recipesthatcrock.com, mm -hmm. and we will start testing it, and it may make it on the site. So. Wednesday is leftovers, and I put on split pea soup for all you folks who are wanting to prepare for leftover ham coming up. Um, that's something a lot of our readers enjoy. On Thursday, we've got barbecue ribs with cheesy scalloped potatoes. Oh, now this isn't the maple whiskey ribs, right? No, this is a different one. This is an Aunt Lou recipe. And I'm going to have to try that. Pizza. I love ribs. I especially love ribs on a crock pot. I will try that recipe for show. Yes. And Friday, if I did my calendaring correct, should be St. Patty's Day. <laughs> and so we have um, an easy corned beef. Keep going. Uh, an easy corned beef with old-fashioned cabbage. Uh, I'm not sure. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's St. Patty's Day. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Y'all are always talking about how cute Chris is and her hats. Look at that one. I think she wears it just as good as Miss Ad did, don't you? <laughs> knock, knock. I had no choice in this matter. Knock, knock. Who's there? Irish. Irish who? Irish, you would have been mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what about dessert? <laughs> I was just going to say, before you so rudely interrupted me, that um, that this is a different recipe than actually the recipe you'll see on Cook and Chris's Dishes. Or, not Cook, yeah, on Cook and Chris's Dishes. Um, the, this coming week, um, we have two different recipes, so we're kind of giving you um, a view of both of them. So, and that's with our old-fashioned cabbage, which is super easy to throw together. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then dessert. Um, I have monster munch. Roar! I was being a monster. Monster munch on there. And I did that for you. It's good stuff. Because, you know, it, the way we make it is with, like, gummy eyeballs that you can buy. Like, gummies, not, like... I, no, I don't yeah. know. Anyhow, that sounded very unappetizing. Yes, but um, to make it look like little monsters and um, or little blobs with eyeballs in it. And so we... Great for Halloween. Yes, we do it for Halloween. We even, because we love The Walking Dead, do it for Walking Dead. Mm -hmm. But you could like substitute the eyeballs out for any kind of holiday kind of thing. You could even use different color chocolates in it. And so you could make it for a St. Patty's treat if you wanted to. Or um, something else. And I can't believe you're making me wear this hat. But there we go. <laughs> we want to thank you all for the new way we're going to be doing this show from now on. Yes. Uh, if you have not become a member of the Croc Posse, subscribe down below. Automatically yes. you're a member. Don't forget Church Song Sundays tomorrow at 2 um, p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Mm -hmm. I think actually uh, it may be Daylight Savings Time because this Sunday I think we spring forward. Oh, we got to get up early. Ooh, sorry about that, y'all. Yeah. So, so set your, don't forget to set it's, your clocks, and then now it will be what it is right now is 1 o'clock, but it's still 2 o'clock, but you're pulling it back an hour. Don't try to explain time. We're from Indiana. We have no clue. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so, just know it's Eastern Daylight Savings Time. Yes. Um, and so we will, um... We will, we, we need to, we'll see you on Sunday. Yes, <laughs> <at> absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Send us your questions. Send us your comments. Bye. Bye. And of course, this week's weekly menu. All Ouch! Oh, oh, God, that was my foot. Oh, well, having a good time. <laughs> Croc Posse shout out. <laughs>